Hi, welcome back. I'm Kermit. I'm Webb. And we're playing Depression Quest. Playing being a loose term. Very loose. Uh, loose like Zoe Quinn's vagina, am I right? Yeah, right about now. Um, let's see. So, uh, Alex is uh, inviting you over to do shit. You find yourselves in a familiar kitchen on the couch watching comedy shows on Netflix. So, um, basically, you know, you're hanging out with your girlfriend. And you have either the choice of... You know, despite the bad times, like, the valid choices that you would put, make if you were a fucking human being. Like, how does depression stop you from telling your girlfriend that she's important? Like, I, I guess the enjoy your evening part is the is the part that's... Which is why that's crossed out. But, really, this is... That bullshit. makes sense when enjoy your evening being crossed out, because we are very depressed... We are very depressed. Well, why why can't we just tell her how important she is and not enjoy our evening? Uh, let's ask if she's happy. And she's saying, and we're going to summarize this very quickly, folks. She's basically saying, why do you keep asking this? Yep. So, um, I know it's not what you usually be up to, and you're basic, and me and us being like depress depressing, you know, fellers. We're just. Say you say this, and she just says, "Well, I think that." Oh, what was it like? She, we assume that she parties all the time, or something like that. Yeah, she's like. So your girlfriend of how long? Just like, like sometimes I swear it feels like you don't know me at all. It's like well, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, God, I I really don't want to play this. At all. So, you know, how did you get this far in the relationship if you're dealing with this much depression? Yeah, seriously. You're deeply depressed now. It's a breezy Sunday afternoon. Yay, breezy you've Sunday afternoon. You've allowed Amanda, once, once again, you've it allowed is, Amanda. It's an adjective day time of day. Uh, which I, <laughs> I don't think you get the word allowed Amanda. You like, allowed Amanda and I'll turn to school. So apparently we're in a completely like, different universe where... Mm, I, won't, I was going to say completely different universe where men dominated women, but then again, look at that, Look at our past. It's actually, a bit murky. It's, and you're, you're buying into the, to the Zoe Quinn way of thinking there. I'm trying not to. <laughs> I really am trying not to. Um, but, but I'm so depressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is depressing that something like this actually exists. But uh, yeah, you you allowed Amanda. That's a that's a great thing to do to your old friends. I will allow you to spend time in. I will presence. allow you. I suppose I will, it is acceptable. I will allow you to be with me with recordings. <laughs> Look at what? you, Web. What? what? I will allow what? you what? to be what? here recording oh. with me. Okay, well, then you can you can eat a bag of dicks. Well, <laughs> I, I'm sure I will later on. Amanda, Amanda's <laughs> known you long enough to read your mood and tone of voice. She leans in to ask you a question while gently touching your hand. Uh, my hands are shaking now. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> We're deeply she depressed anyway. She gently touches your hand. Spaghetti falls out of your pockets. You, what is, she gently touches your hand and you start seizing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it, Chad. <laughs> she suggests you two get out of there. You feel mortified. Uh, um, not, which she offers to let you go to a therapist, or to help you go to a therapist, and you're like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> no, because this is what a depressed person would say, that they don't want to do what makes as much sense and what helps you the most. So, basically, uh, it's Sunday. It's fucking Monday. Never mind. This, this game is, like, draining my brain juices and just making me retarded. And become retard. I am become retard. Um, he based the brother. I think his name is uh, Malcolm. Malcolm 
is coming up with a uh, blue Camaro and you're just all jelly and all that stuff. Um, so here's the two positive things that you can't pick because you're depressed. Or the two things that are very reasonable. One's positive and one's just this. About the night guard and why you need it. About your tooth grinding problem but not the stress causing it. Let's do that. <sighs> Kiddo. I have, I have expected like this fish to, to start with, you know. It was a cloudy Thursday evening, even though this is just a continuation of the, the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, I see what you're saying there. Uh, <laughs> so he's basically gives you the night guard. Whatever that is, I don't know what that it's, is. It's to keep her from grinding her... It's to keep, to keep him, her, Whittlesworth, from grinding uh, teeth in sleep and such like. So I do suffer from depression. I've never had my teeth grinding thing, but I'm not sure if that's a thing. It, it's a it stress thing, thing, I guess. I but. guess I'm not very stressed. Um, it's a dry Sunday morning. Basically, uh, Amanda, like, sends you an email telling you to call a fucking therapist. The subject, hey, buddy. I was just like, buddy! damn it, friend zoned hard. Really hard. <laughs> Even though we're still Danny Alex. <laughs> Even though we're still Danny Alex. <laughs> a Whittlesworth has no need for monogamy. Whittlesworth. <laughs> Whittlesworth. Whittlesworth dips his dick in anything. <laughs> uh. Uh. Um, so what do you do with, like, this stuff, with this email thing? You can either... I think this is... We've, we've really been making good time, because I think this is where we... About where we left off last time, right? Really? Because, well, we never... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we've been we really, speed running through this shit, because yeah, we don't want to we don't want to fucking read the whole thing all over again to you guys. And while... It's like, while you can read it yourself... We suggest not to read it because it's so fucking dumb. <laughs> it's, it is actually really bad. Um, I, I read, or I watched part of a video by a guy called, uh, uh, I'm, by the way, I'm going to take the, uh, sleeping it off option. Is uh, there's this show called uh, Folding Ideas that I watch occasionally. It's the guy who makes it is really freaking smart, but he made a video about Depression Quest. I couldn't finish it because he was saying good things about Depression Quest. I'm like, seriously, bro? You, you know what? Since this game is like, all about I've been depre- playing this, and, and I don't think this is a bad game just because Zoe Quinn made it. Like, terrible people can make good games. This is just objectively really bad. See, I didn't do my research at all for this game, and I just don't like it. <laughs> it's, it's really I don't even not know. Good. I didn't even know who Zoe Quinn was until you mentioned it to me. So, um, so uh, I'm struggling whether or not I should just call. I'll uh, call that bitch. Which also number two is also number one. So, except number one has a really long fucking space for some reason. So let's <laughs> call him. Let's call. You read through Amanda's email two or three times, sit and stare at your computer for a while. Um, then sitting around, start to question things like whether or not Amanda sent you this number out of pity or to help you out. Well, that's, that would sure suck if her reasons for sending you the thing weren't the reasons you wanted her to send you the it thing. It would sure suck if you just, like, went to therapy. <laughs> Oh, man, don't go to therapy, kids. It's not going to help you out, Uh, said with sarcasm. I'm going to, for my Whittlesworth voice, I'm going to, like, try to go uh, full sexy on this. Uh, I'd like to make an appointment with the doctor you managed to stammer out. (laughs) I hope hope the microphone actually picked that shit up because that was low as fuck. So, not even a wiggle for me. That was not sexy at all. It was so sexy. No, it, it was, it was so, like, like it was like locker room. Someone I can comes he- up behind you and asks for the soap and a. Deep I can th- hear your butthole clenching from here, you liar. I'm hearing <laughs> no. I mean, my butthole is just clenching out of just like creepiness. You fucking creep. 